Hello, dear students of grade 9, you are welcome. Today we are going to discuss the exercises of the alternative energy source. Dear students, uh, I hope you have read this lesson and in this lesson uh, the writer talks about different uh, energy sources and their uses. But uh, I will focus on exercises, dear students. I uh, am sure you have understood the text. If you haven't understood the text, uh, please write the comments. I will uh, explain the text in my next video. But today, I'll focus on the exercises for the students. So, first of all, a matching. See the matching. Yeah. Okay, the first one, fleet. You know, fleet means the students or group of something is called fleet. Group of something. Inflatable. Inflatable means capable of being filled with the air. This is called inflatable. B is IV, you know. Harness. Harness means to control. To control and use the force or strength of. Okay, harness. And next one, uh, dear students, next one. So, harness means that. And uh, now, when. Okay, when. When means a flat plane that is moved by wind. Skyscraper. Skyscraper means a very tall building and fusion fusion means the act of or process of splitting the nucleus of an atom and in the same way okay these students uh, okay uh, let's see and then a uh, bountiful okay bountiful means in large quantities okay bountiful bountiful means in large quantities now okay so now okay uh, we'll do the next exercise find the okay find the antonyms opposites opposite meaning okay find the opposite words of the following words from the text so here so first of all in less means finite you can find this uh, over in the text in less finite you can uh, check the word finite it is given in the text modern you know it's very easy the uh, antonym Antonym, okay, opposite word uh, for modern is traditional. Cover, cover means revealed. Cover means, you know, he, uh, hidden and revealed means soul. Fragrant means, you know, odorless. You can see hydrogen is an odorless gas. Fragrant meaning giving smell. Odorless meaning having no smell. Bound, autonomous. And uh, inadequate means bountiful. This is opposite word, okay. Now, okay, let's do the next one. And that is another matching dear students match the idea numbers uh, in column a to the correct id in column b so uh, you know our text has been divided into different you know uh, uh, parts like this so first in idea you can check in the uh, text idea first uh, is about solar energy i will show you idea first is solar energy i'll show you uh, look at this uh, in the idea first a solar energy it is uh, you can see you can see different ideas here so these students uh, you can check yourself i would like to waste time here i'll just show you see uh, idea one you okay, see this is about uh, key 55 to 60 percent of the all incoming solar energy doesn't come see solar energy you no know? so it doesn't come make doesn't make it through the earth atmosphere in a space-based solar power system fleets of satellites groups of satellites okay with uh, so first idea is about uh, solar energy so we can do in this way in the students now uh, let's do other okay uh, okay focus okay and the same way uh, these students uh, yeah mm, idea second is uh, solar energy through body moment okay in, in if you uh, look at the text if you read the text idea second is about energy through body moment idea third this is wave energy okay if you read it you will find wave energy idea third is wave energy idea fifth I, sorry idea fourth idea fourth is hydrogen energy and idea fifth is alterious energy alterious energy and idea vi means last you know uh, sixth is energy through fusion process now dear students we'll do the exercise uh, okay question answer see here so answer the following questions how did jaksa prove the viability how did jaksa prove the viability for the idea of space-based solar energy 
So uh, you can find this answer in the text if you look at it. Zaksha proved the viability for the idea of specific solar energy by converting 1.8 kilowatt of electricity into microwaves and bringing them wirelessly to 50 meters to the distance of 50 meters. You can find it. I'll show you. Okay. Uh, look at the text. You'll find it the answer exactly. You have to understand it, dear students. So I will show you. Just wait. Okay. Okay. Let's look at this energy. Jaksa. Okay. So Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency revealed they had successfully converted 1.8 kilowatts of electricity into microwaves. After which they wirelessly beam them a distance of 50 meters, providing the, provi providing the idea of viability. So you have understood it, your students. Now, answer to the next question is, okay, let's look at here. What do you need to generate energy through our body movement? So what do we need? So we need to wear a system like a uh, system, okay? We need to wear a system. Uh, for example, a knee brace that collects and converts okay, electrons to generate energy through our body movement. So you have to write, we need to wear a system that collects electrons to generate energy through our movement. So here, we need to wear a system like a knee brace. So you can see, we need to wear uh, uh, a knee brace. We need to wear a knee brace. You can write also. Now, see, in what way our idea of third and idea of fifth similar? So if you look at the text, if you read the text, you will find in both uh, idea third and fifth, wind is used to generate energy. In both okay, ideas, wind. Wind is used to generate energy. Now, D. How can hydrogen be used okay, as the source of energy? Hydrogen can be used as the source of energy by separating it from other elements like oxygen, nitrogen, other. Okay, there is uh, all the gases are in combination in the atmosphere. So you can write in this way hydrogen can be used as the source of energy by separating it from other elements or other inner gases. Now, E. Why do floating turbines seem more effective than tower mounted turbines? Why do floating turbines seem more effective than tower mounted turbines? Because the floating turbines produce more energy than power mounted turbines. You can write floating turbines seem more effective than tower mounted turbines because the floating turbines produce more energy than tower mounted turbines. So you can write in this way, dear students. Okay, next is F. Why is the fusion process environmental friendly? Fusion process because. Uh, fusion process emits, okay, produces no pollutants or greenhouse gases and has no threat of nuclear meltdown. So, fusion process is environmentally friendly. You can write the answer uh, in long. The fusion process is environmentally friendly because it emits no pollutants or greenhouse gases and has no threat of nuclear meltdown. Now, last uh, question. Answer to last question. What does ITER stand for? ITER stands for International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor. Dear students, you can write the answer in this way. So, this is listening, and dear students, I will uh, come up with the uh, uh, solution to other answers next time. Okay, dear students, uh, let's do this uh, grammar second. Fill in the gas with the suitable relative pronouns. Dear students, you know the relative pronouns who, which, where. Okay. So now, uh, first of all, if the uh, is that the sport, now you have to write here where. Okay. If that the sport, now you should write where. Uh, you have to write where. And the photograph, or photograph, you know, after photograph, you have to write which. This is thing, object. You know, uh, with place we have to use where, with things we have to use which or that, with people we have to use who, okay, okay, now see here, who and whom. And Thala, are the students uh, here uh, whom you are talking about, okay, are the, the students, are, the, okay, here right, right, whom, okay, uh, sometimes we can write who as well. So, last week, uh, last week, next one, D. Last week I went uh, to visit the town. Okay, you are where? You know, town. This is place where, where my friend uh, lives. 
this is the house uh, e this is the house where also here also where because this is where my uncle and only lives now next one these go uh, these are the girls it's very easy you know these are the girls uh, who work hard okay these are the girls who work hard and g kiss over the y so whom you know in the uh, g you have to write whom whom and then uh, next uh, is okay yes yeah, so this is the judge okay this is put judge who is here also right who this is the site where place okay where the tiger you know this is tiger with tiger we have to write which the tree next one uh, next one the tree uh, which you cut down which or that you can write which or that Mount Everest, uh, which is the highest, you know, it's very easy, which is the highest, which is the highest peak. And next one, okay, these friends, these are the, okay, it's relative, relative pronoun, 